Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Anno 1800. I hope you're all well. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we did buy up some really, really epic characters that we are going to start with the trade unions this episode as well. We're just walking through our uh, worker district here. It's pretty nuts, actually. There's lots of goulash buildings that we are going to be working with. Um, let's go up, though. I hope you're all well, guys, and uh, do welcome yourself back. So what we've got... Well, no steel there for a start. We will work on that. But we do have some beautiful... Let me just click on the trade union just to remind you what we did get. So we got these four guys up here. So this one affects bicycle factory and sewing factory. This is affecting the cannery. So where's our canneries? They are along here. Now, there isn't too many. But what we will do is grab this in. So let me just double check exactly what it does. Make sure it is worth my while. This gives extra sausages as well. So instead of goulash, the building processes pigs, which is pretty nuts. So we're not going to need the uh, the actual goulash buildings, which is um, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, that's going to save us on these guys. It's just going to process pigs altogether. So we'll need more pig farms, but we will need these guys. So I'm not going to do that one just yet. What I am going to do is grab the trade union for the oil, which is in here. So we need to get some kind of trade union here. We do have this one. So this one has the... Uh, Grapes and chocolate affects bakery. I don't know why I've got you in there, actually. So uh, let's get rid of all of these. And we're going to need the former wizard lady. So can I remove? There we go. Perfect. So this one is going to affect this now. So that gives a minus 80% on the workforce. So we're freed up loads. Maintenance cost is less and it can't blow up or cause fire, which is nice. So way less work is required. It's over here, so instead of flour, they process just raw grain. So we should, we can get rid of the flour mills, I believe, by having a trade union over here. So hopefully we can fit all of those in, which it does cover all of them there. That's we're going to build, and we are going to apply. Affects bakery, not that one. Is, is, do I want you in there as well? Productivity 50%, plus the... Instead of flour, the building process is green. So we're going to get you in and you. So you're going to get 50% productivity there. So that's just going to absolutely smash in green to bread. So we should be able to go ahead and demolish these guys out, which is awesome. And there we go. Green should be coming across to these guys now. So we've tidied that one up a bit. It does fit in there. So we should be processing that straight out there. And we do get extra grapes and chocolate. I'm not quite sure how that works, but... Yeah, you'll have to explain that one to me, but that is a good start. And we've got the oil one in there. Let me just go into a trade union again. I'm just going to double check what else we have. So when we start the jewelers then, so we should be able to do that shortly. We're going to need to set up the pearl farm, aren't we? But I do want to get the steam carriages as well. We've got bicycle factory and sewing machine factory as well. So let's go into those as well. All right, so we've got two over here, and then sewing machine factories are over here. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this around a little bit. So we're going to move these concrete makers. We definitely don't need to worry about boosting those guys too much. So I'm just going to temporarily move these out, and I'm going to grab in my bicycle factories over here. So hopefully I can fit these. This should fit in nicely. We're going to need to try and fit some kind of trade union as well. Let's get rid of that one. Second. Okay, you can't have an overlapping radi uh, radius, so this trade union is actually going to have to be moved to just fit that one then. All I need it to do is hit that one there, so let's do this. And then there'll be no overlapping radius here, so let's grab it in there. We can, we can kind of figure out what we want to do around here, so I can't have it overlapping. That's the best I can do at the moment. Let's get that one built, and what we'll do is get in... This guy's insane, by the way. Influencers administrator. I'm going to get this this guy. Where is it? There we go. After it affects bicycle. So instead of steel, it builds processes iron. So that's going to be a big, big save on the actual the um, steel side of things there. I think we have abandoned. iron. It's saying it needs it at the moment. Let's check. Yeah, 121. Okay. Trend is going up as well. So that should help a little bit. But yeah, not the best looking here. I will shuffle it around to tidy it up, but that should be okay. So at the moment, we've got our sewing machine factories in. We've also got our bicycle factories covering this area as well. That is perfect. We could do with some kind of production boost for these guys as well, but they're missing coal. So we need to do something about coal as well. I think... What are we doing here? Are we boosting that one still? We are. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're boosting in here as well. We are. Okay. Not a lot we can do at the moment with those guys. Then we just need to make sure we are able to get more in. 
What we could do is try and squeeze the jewelers around this area too, and we could get the two in there. That would help. They're absolutely slamming through our steel here at the moment. We're looking good on workers and stuff as well. I did upgrade here as well, so we built a whole new little section here. We are looking okay. But in terms of things done, we are solid. We're over 40k population now as well. And I'm going to make sure I don't think we have anything to be able to build these now. Because it does cost steel. And to be honest, our army is pretty good. And I want to focus on actually building up this. So what I might do is cancel out one of these. We'll get a little bit of steel back. Because they are quite costly. And uh, I do want to continue getting these up. Because this means money. But we will need to get our steam carriages in. Real, real soon. So... But at the moment, then, we are producing two lots of the actual wheels, I believe, which is down here. And that's increasing by one. We could get the steam carriages in, but we are going to need more wood. And we probably need to buy people in for that. Because, quite frankly, we don't have enough cowchuck to deal with this. In an ideal world, I could try and boost these. I'm going to get a, a third in at the moment. And I'm going to get my first one of these in. So we're going to get a cab assembly line. I don't want this boosted because we don't need loads. Question is, where are we going to squeeze this in? It does fit in over here quite nicely, but do we have... Yep, we do. So that has a road next to it as well. So we are going to start the production of that. Hopefully I can use this. We might need another warehouse over here, but everything looks okay at the moment. So that's good. We'll start building the cars. All right, so we have a massive amount of farmers right now. So I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade all of these guys where we can, and I'm going to get all the rest of these artisans done down here. Not these guys, but yeah, we want these farmers to be upgraded. And then I should be able to get these guys, the remainder, all upgraded to artisans where possible. And what I want to do is remove out then the need for the pub and school over here. And we'll have a little bit more room because all of these are hopefully... Well, what I want is these potentially going to become artisans. So we're going to remove all of the farmers and workers from here. And then these are going to become the engineers and stuff. At the moment, they're pretty damn good. The thing we were struggling with is the, the coffee, but that should be back in now, like looking pretty good. So we do have some sat in there as well, so I'm quite happy with that. Right, I'm going to remove all my boosts off everything here as well, so we're pretty, we pretty damn full. Um, we're going to need more storage this end as well. So I've got, uh, well, I've got lots of storage set up here. This is maxed as well. What's our max storage here? It's currently 950, so we are going to need to uh, potentially get more. But I don't know where I can actually fit them now. And what I am going to do is get a... I think I'm at Hassel, Hasselad. I'm going to get a trade route from Hasselad to our main island now, just for basic um, wood. So we're going to go from here to here. And this is going to hopefully have just a clipper. And we're going to go for normal wood here. I think we'll just fill that one up. Yeah, let's just take it down a little bit. That should be enough. It uh, looks like we've got more ships on the go as well. So the army is still ever increasing, which is beautiful. There's another one there. Let's bring that over. And then we're good. We need to de decide on what our next attack is going to be actually as well. So I do want to buy some more items in. So if I can, I'm going to grab one of my spare clippers. I think we've still got one here. Where are you? go bin off this iron and then we're going to go and see if we can buy more items got 2.62 mil i wouldn't mind building relationship with uh, Anne a bit more as well and seeing if we can do anything there all right it doesn't even look like we can three iron get gone we're going to go back down to our friend over here we are at a ceasefire with Anne again so i'm not too concerned about her and i'm going to see if we can do something else and our next port of call would be seeing if we could take on an island here now i think we can take this one on quite easily i'll be honest with you and this would absolutely annihilate her but i think that would be a smart move i can't see any berthers here i would like to take out the flame cannons because for some reason these flame towers do so much damage oh there's one bertha there yeah the flame towers do so much damage to the monitors pretty crazy hmm is that a good idea i think it's a good idea because this one's way too strong and then she's pretty... She's, like, got nothing left if we do that. This one up here as well. But her main island's obviously huge. But I think this one is, as you can see, giving her quite a bit of coal. And that would be ideal for us. Right, I'm going to use another clipper here as well. So I'm going to send this one home. Let's see if there's one closer, actually. There is one here. So I'm going to grab 
some weapons here. We only have 40 because we're not producing them anymore, actually. Let's grab those. But we can definitely grab the bricks in, so we're going to need 40 of those, and then we're going to need 40 steel when we have it as well. We'll grab that in. All right, we're just flipping over back into the new world now, and I've split up my fleets a little bit. So we've got three up here. We've got four up here. These are just the ships of the line, so we're kind of breaking those out. But what I want to do is get to work on this island. So at the moment, we're going to need to transfer across something. So I'm going to need to grab probably one of these guys. Now, let's see what's for sale here. I think they're 800,000 those big boys sure mm, as much as i want to buy that i don't know if it's a good idea uh suffering a destroy quest a hat maker no let's get rid of that sorry i don't need it right now have you got any good items as well he does bring in some good items for this end that's something we need to consider i do want to just carry over some items here I think we have the spare one over here just sat around. we got a spare couple sat over here. So I'm going to go ahead and load this baby up with probably, I don't know, let's get quite a bit in here. So we'll grab that and we'll grab in all that wood as well. And what I'm going to do is bring that down to here. We're going to get a bit of a start, head start on the buildings over here as well. So I'm going to set up a bit of this also. Good news is we have the ability to uh, plonk in a few of these anyway. I think we can build a big setup here. And I'm going to go like this. All right, ships here. Let's unload all of this. So we want to give you all this. They might not let me do all that, but we are going to start straight away by building the wood warehouse and all of this. So I've got three little wood sections that we've got set up here. I just need to uh, finish that one off. So that's okay and we'll start the production there and we've also got a whole bunch of workers that are going to need to come in so we're going to get all of those straight in and then we should start the production so that is the first we've got this bit of farmland over here haven't quite finished it yet but we've got our fish and we're going to go fried plantain kitchens i reckon i can fit them over here so i'm going to grab in a warehouse i'm going to move that over actually let's go like that and we are going to Punk these guys. Let's do that. Something like this. That's six plus six. Lovely. And we are going to grab in all of that. All right. We need to wait a bit of wood. I didn't grab that in, which is a bit silly of me. So let's let's uh, speed it up. We'll grab that in. Oh, yeah. We got wood on our ship, actually. I forgot about that. Let's, uh, let's bin that one out as well. And let's get to an upgrading, baby. And we're going to go you. And grab the rest of you. I've got two more there that I can grab in. I don't need those yet. And we are going to grab in all of those as well. And we're going to start the production of this guy. So we're going to need all you guys as well. Get a little bit of that in. All right, let's get that warehouse in. We can start that now. We should have our plantains on the go. We need a little bit more in and I'm going to get all of these upgraded. And in the meantime, we'll carry on copying a few of these. Out. It's very blocky over here, but I think it's kind of the only way we can do it at the moment. Just to make use of the whole area. All right, so we're all done over here. So I'm going to let this one kind of tick up nicely. I'm going to leave a few ships in. Uh, I reckon I can leave these here. We will get this island built up. It's a pretty damn good one. We got four gold and, and such over here. But I don't think it matters now that we did give this one to Benta because we do have this. And quite frankly, it's just as good. We can build up tobacco, coffee, everything. So I'm going to start another lot of coffee over here when I can. The only downside is we're going to need to upgrade these guys. So we are going to need some rum, actually, then. So let's look at rum here. We have sugarcane fertility, which is awesome. So where are we going to put this? I think we we squeeze it over here. Let's get a warehouse here and let's start this. All right. So we've got two. We've got rum production, basically, on this new island now. We've got food production. So all we need for these guys to keep them happy is some clothing. Now, I am going to continue to upgrade where I can. These guys should be getting in what they need. So the rum will come in. They've got the plantains and the... I think it's just going to be the ponchos. Because we're going to want to upgrade to workers. I think this is a good gold and coffee island. I'm going to continue to get in. So we'll go with three lots of rum for now. That should be fine. Let's just slow it down a second. Because we are going to want to get into our clothing as well. We're going to want to get the alpaca farm. So we're only going to get three. These are nice and easy anyway. I'll probably just slap them over here for now. Let's just put three there with a warehouse on the back here. And then we'll go three poncho 
friendos over here. That should be more than enough to uh, achieve what we're trying to do here. I'm going to speed it up, though. But I'd like to get these in as quick as possible. That is a 30 to 30, isn't it? So that's fine. All right, we've got one lot coming in. So that should fill the needs of ponchos. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade where I can here. And we'll slow it down. That's all we need to do here. Bento wants to do a delivery quest. Let's jump to location here. I do want to... I don't want to argue with her, I'll be honest. A little bit annoying. Uh, 20 tons of fried plantain. All right, let's check this and then we'll do that. All right, so we don't want to mess with that. We want to go needs consumption here. Publish that. It's making our life a lot easier. Be quiet, Benta. We're going to get her items over. So we're going to go into the new world and we are going to go into our fried plantain friendos. I think we can do it from here. I think we've got spare ships down in this island, actually. So what have we got? They wanted... I don't know. Let's take a bunch of it over, actually. Let's take 100, uh, 100 tons of that over. And she wants 30 tons of timber. Let's just take 50 and then 16 tons of rum. I'll take the exact amount of rum, to be honest. And then I will use you. Oh, deliver to wreckage. Okay, she wants the boat to be built. This is going to be a little bit... Oh, no, it's in the... Uh in the new world awesome that's really good so we can do that here then amazing back down here then hopefully we've got some timber going let's check in on our people they're so just the ponchos they are coming they are coming would help if we put the alpaca pastures in wouldn't it all right all the pastures are in so we should be fine uh they will get that going so we'll have the ponchos in i think they've got the rum now as well Oh, but yep, they got all their rum in. So yeah, just those. And we should be able to upgrade these guys real, real soon. I'm going to keep building. And then hopefully we can get the workers on the go here as well. It's been a pretty successful straight away on this one. I'm going to get more in. I've just realized they have um, they have four, don't they? Yep, you can have that, Benta. Select the wreckage. What's going on? Select monstrous whale. This monster, this, that explains the dreadful eerie noise we heard in the darkness. Okay, confused survivors. Ahoy, our heartiest thanks for your help. Okay, you're welcome. What does that mean then? Okay, cool. Let's go back then. Um, right, what was I trying to do? We're trying to fix this over here. I messed up all these. What, what have we got over here? There we go. Who wants me to begin? Follow the confused. Can we follow that one? There we go. Got food on board, but whatever. We'll follow it anyway. Let's let that happen. I'm going to continue over here. So I messed up this. I'm going to actually go ahead and demolish that one out and that one. Didn't even look properly. There we go. There we go. Sorted that out now. So that should allow me to construct it all. Beautiful. And hopefully I can get one more of these in. So we'll run with two alpacas at the moment. We'll get the third in when we need it. And we'll leave that there. Perfect. Right, whilst we've done all that, then we should be in a good position to continue to uh, upgrade here. What's the issues? So we're fine there. Let's go over. We're still a little bit low on the farmers, but that's all right. I think... What are you guys missing then? Okay, just waiting for some more coffee to come in. We are getting up to producing more of that. Don't you worry. Let's get in the rest of these artisans down here then. And the reason I'm going with this area, as I said, I want to get rid of all that... Uh, all that's required pub wise so i think we can go ahead and get rid of those now are these guys using that one they should be i'm going to go ahead and bin off both of those we should be all right there's a marketplace issue over here i'm going to shuffle these around then so i think i can move some of these guys over let's do that let's get them in here they'll fit in nicely over here and let's get you guys in there you can go there. We've got a little bit of a garden in the middle. And let's get the marketplace moved. That should fix these guys' needs of the marketplace, he says. What if I do that? There we go. And that one should reach. What's the issue here? Oh, that's got to go all the way around. I've just realized. So let's move these about then. Let's connect that up there. There we go. A little bit of a tidy up here. That should fix all the issues over this way because of that now. Let's get that upgraded as well. Surely you can reach that marketplace. That's still got to go round, actually. I've got the roads all weird here. It's from when I moved them over. Let's get a road through there. That should fix it. There we go. Going up nicely. Perfect. Nice. A little bit extra on the tidy there, which is 
awesome and then we do are we able yes we are i'm going to continue to get these guys up so they should be getting the cars in now which is nice so let's have a look we do have that on the go i think it's quite slow to make actually i think we must have been low on couchuk or something as well so we're going to need those farms in when we can i really want to get these last bits upgraded over this end as well there's some that are upgrading, some that aren't. So, ah, uh, they don't have electricity. Hmm. Why can't that reach in that one little spot? How weird. Surely you can upgrade. I think I see the problem. If I just do that. Perfect. There we go. All right, lovely stuff. I think that is a good way to end this one out. So we've done pretty good production here. We're over 42,000 now on, XP, uh, on our population. We have 4.5 million in the bank so we're looking pretty damn good we are on the last legs of finishing these off i'm not sure when i want to finish this series out i'll be honest with you what i want to do is um do a proper series now that i've learned everything if that makes sense so i kind of want to use this as our learning one we'll make a, a much better series on the next one maybe with some more dlc and stuff like that but guys let me know your thoughts on that if you'd be happy with me starting a new one in the near future obviously and uh covering a couple more episodes on this one probably go for all out war and uh see how we turn out because i think that's a good time to kind of end it as, as learning wise goes so let me know your thoughts on that one as always guys if you are new around here do consider subbing and if you have enjoyed smash that thumbs up for me pop a little uh, hello down in the comments as well it helps massively um hit the algorithm and things like that so i do appreciate you and if you want to support me that a little bit further there is a join button on the channel as well as always guys do take it easy i'll catch you in the next one people.